Kaya Paraka Heist was nerfed much harder than it looked in the last GTA Online update. And cooldown is not even the biggest problem here, because first of all you're gonna be earning a little less money on each Kaya Paraka run on average now, but the biggest change is not obvious, yet it will hurt players who grind Kaya Paraka the most. Ok, now let me and my friend Calculator explain you everything in details about this Kaya Paraka nerf. First part of the nerf is cooldown, it's gonna be different for players who complete Kaya Perico as a group and for solo players. For players who complete this heist in a group, there will be a 1 in game day cooldown, so it's 48 real life minutes. This cooldown is applied not to final part, but to the heist in general, so after you will complete the heist, you will have to wait for 48 real life minutes before you will be able to start the heist again, and by the way, you don't have to be online during these 48 minutes. Anyway, for solo players, situation is much more interesting interesting, because Rockstar officially announced that there will be 3 in-game days cooldown for solo players, so it's 144 real life minutes, but I've tested it right after update was released and I was not able to replay Kaya Perico after such cooldown. Test 2 well-known data miner says that cooldown for solo playthroughs of Kaya Perico in reality is 192 minutes, so it's basically 4 in-game days, 3 hours and 12 minutes. I I don't know if it's some mistake or bugs that will be fixed in the future, or maybe they meant that there will be additional 3 days cooldown for solo players, but right now it's definitely 4 in-game days. But I repeat, you don't have to be online during this cooldown, it starts immediately after you gonna receive money for the previous heist, and after this 3 hours and 12 minutes of real life time, Pavel will send you invitation to rob Mr. Rubio again. Second part of the nerf is much more tricky, because now after completing Kai Perico heist, you will have different chances to receive different primary targets. Previously chances were always the same, it was 28.5% to receive tequila, necklace or bearer bonds and 14.5% to receive pink diamond. And now according to data from test 2, link to his post will be in the description, within 72 hours of real life time since last playthrough, your chances will be 60% to receive tequila, 15% to receive necklace necklace and 15% to receive bonds and only 10% to receive pink diamond. But if it will be more than 72 real life hours, I'm stressing this real life hours between the time when you completed previous Sky Perico run and the time when you will pay 25,000 to start a new Sky Perico run, your chances will be following, you will never get tequila, 40% for necklace, 40% bonds and 20% for diamond. So it's an obvious nerf if you grind Kaya Perico more than twice a week. I've made calculations and previously average price for your primary target in Kaya Perico was $1,100,500. And now with these percentages it will be only $1,015,000. Place a like if you're also in a Microsoft Excel gank. Uh, anyone? S someone? It's $85,500 of a difference, and if you run Kaya Perico on a hard mode, which you probably should, the difference will be even bigger. And yeah, if there will be more than 3 real life days between your Kaya Perico runs, average price for the primary target with these new percentages will be $1,180,000, which is more than it used to be before the nerf, but wait, it's not a buff, I'm gonna explain later. Fun part is, you're gonna earn less money than before even in this case. Anyway, Rockstar decided to compensate this obvious nerf with a small buff, and now if you will make this Kaya Perico runs within 72 hours from the last playthrough, value of your secondary targets, you know, cash, cocaine and stuff like that, will be increased. And this increase will depend on the primary targets that you get. If you get tequila, it will be 20% increase, if you get necklace, it will be 10%. 10% increase, for bearer bonds 5% and for pink diamonds there will be no increase at all. If we will take into consideration percentages of receiving different primary targets, average increase will be 14.25% for your secondary targets. I hope you're not sleeping yet, because next part will be important. So even if we're gonna be receiving only cocaine, and I remind you that it's the most valuable secondary target except gold, then you 
cannot get gold when you play solo unless you're using glitches, but if you're using glitches you know how to make a lot of money anyway, so let's continue. If there will be only cocaine in your bag, which is the best case scenario, you're gonna earn extra 63.4 thousand dollars because of this buff on average on your secondary loot. But remember, you already lost 85 thousand dollars on a primary loot and it's even not in a hard mode. So this buff is not enough to compensate the nerf, especially since on practice you're never gonna be able to get full bag of cocaine that costs 445,000. According to my calculations, average price of your secondary loot will be only 400,000, so you're gonna earn with this 14.25% bonus extra 57,000 on average on this secondary loot. Anyway, the point is, buff is not good enough to compensate the nerf. But you might say, well, at least players who run Kaya Perico Heist twice a week or less are gonna make more money because average price for the primary target is higher than it used to be. Well, there is a problem. Among such players, only players who never run Kaya Perico Heist on a hard mode will earn more money. Because you know what? It's impossible to activate hard mode if there are 72 real life hours between your Kaya Perico runs. Because let me explain you how it works right now. Now, and actually it's the biggest nerf to the Kaya Perico, not obvious one. Because previously to activate hard mode, which gives you 10% extra money on your primary target, you had to pay for Kaya Perico and start this heist again within 48 minutes of real life time after completing previous run, so one in-game day. But now you need to do it within one in-game day after your cooldown will be over. It's really important. So let me give you an example. Let's say you completed Kaya Perico heist exactly at 1 pm. Next Kaya Perico run will not be available until 4 pm 12 minutes. But if you're not gonna pay for your next Kaya Perico run exactly between 4 pm 12 minutes and 5 pm, this option is just not gonna be available and it doesn't matter if you're online or not. Today I tested it. I waited for 5 real life hours after completing Kaya Perico run. I was offline all the time, then I logged in and there was no option to start Kaya Perico heist on a hard difficulty. Because I repeat, you can only register for hard mode for Kaya Perico between 3 hours 12 minutes and 4 hours of a real life time after completing previous run. And you see why it's such a huge nerf. It's not only cooldowns that we have now, it's not only we're gonna be receiving a little less money, but also it's just literally much harder now to register for a hard mode. And most people will just be missing such opportunity. Anyway, I don't know, maybe Rockstar will fix this issue just like they will fix the cooldown, because it seems like cooldown is incorrect, but so far it looks pretty bad. As for Kaya Perico run itself, there are not too many changes. Yes, now guards are not deaf and they can hear you if you're not gonna be using silencers. Additionally, many guards are just bugging and freezing and not moving, which makes the run even much easier. But I guess it's also temporary thing and Rockstar will fix it. So anyway, my step-by-step -step guide for beginners for solo completion of Kaya Perico Heist is still good enough, so I suggest you to go and check it. You can see it on your screen now. And with that being said, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Stay healthy, stay safe. Goodbye.